Hey Leo, Mariah here. It's an absolute honor, privilege, and a pleasure to be reading for you. Um, I'm gonna, as I'm always very candid in my readings, but I'm going to let you in on something a little quickly here. Um, this morning, and I'm still like in my pajamas, right? But this morning I woke up and I just felt very moved to read for you. Um, I know I recently just dropped the reading, but I just feel, I felt moved by spirit. Just like I did that night when I got up at 2 in the morning and I had to read for you. I just felt the urgency. There's something else that needs to be conveyed here. So let's get into the cards and let's see what's going on. Because I just... Damn. Let me know what I need to know. From all the else. What is, thank you. We have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. May I have another for my Leo spirit? What do they need to know? We have forgiveness and we have trust. Bottom of the deck is perseverance. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And then perseverance on the bottom. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Really nice energies, really beautiful energies, but it comes with a heaviness, a heavy heart, um, a depth. Can I just be, uh, I know I'm always honest with y'all, but I just gotta be like really, really honest with what I'm feeling off of this, uh, Leo. And I know we say this like, oh, it's only going to resonate for one person, yada, 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 but whoever just needs to hear this, whoever this is meant for, please, I say this with a very sincere heart, and I say it from a heart of compassion and understanding and grace. Um, I just feel a Leo that just feels lost. I just feel a Leo that feels lost. I feel a Leo that feels frustrated. I feel a Leo that feels uncertain. I feel a Leo that just feels unsure. I feel a Leo that just feels unsteady. I feel a Leo that just feels like the ground is shaky. And even when you try to, even when you try to persevere and push forward and move forward and try to have faith and trust in the universe and that things will work out fine and that things will happen and things will happen in good measure and things will happen in divine timing and things will happen when they're meant to happen. It just still feels like an energy of feeling lost. Um, and, and I'd send my love to you. And I also send my love to you because it's not a, it's not a comfortable place to be in. Especially when you've tried, Leo, you know, I don't want to get emotional. Y'all know me. I'm a, you know, I'm a candidate. I get sensitive. But it, it is a very frustrating place to be in from what I'm feeling here, Leo. When you've tried and you've tried to get out of this feeling or you try to get out of this rut or you try to get out of this feeling of feeling stuck, but you don't know. You don't know how, you don't know what to do, you don't know the answers. You try and you try to apply yourself and try to apply um, realistic applications to get yourself out of your circumstance or out of your situation, but yet you still show up with no results or no outcome or no change or no guidance and direction and where do you go from here i just get a void somebody feels like they're in a void even through multiple attempts you still feel like you're in the void just hanging by yourself um leo i will tell you this Ooh, i'm sorry um I will tell you this, you got to show yourself a little grace. And I know you probably have. I know you've probably tried to tell yourself, you know what, in due time, just be patient. Things will happen. The universe has my back. The universe will put a, put a, pull a way through for me. The universe will make things work for me. Um, and still yet, you see no results. And even for you, Leo, you may have seen other people receive results. You may have seen other people receive the outcomes, whether it's the same outcomes you're looking for, or you see the universe maybe working in their favor a bit quickly or a bit faster than you. For you, you may be seeing, you know, the efforts that you're putting in, you may feel like they're futile. 
and they're not. But don't be hard because I'm looking at that blame card and I just feel you being hard on yourself or just upset at the universe or just upset at whatever it is that you may believe in. And there's no... Let me just put it this way to you, Leo. As much as you can try to change your circumstance, as much as you can try to not feel lost, a lot of times when we feel lost, we're looking for answers outside of ourselves. Because we, we may have felt like we've looked within, and yet we come up with empty results, so we just say, you know what, let me be patient and let the universe work in my favor. Yet, nothing is happening. There's little things, little steps, small steps taken each day that can build compound interest that can at least, because I can't speed up time and make the universe bring in what it is that you're looking for, or I can't personally remove that feeling of feeling lost, but we start to get guidance when we have structure in our life. We start to have a clearer vision when we have some line of organization in our life. And what do I mean by this, Leo? Well, what I mean by this is what habits, what things are you doing in your life currently that could be negatively impacting or contributing further to this feeling of feeling lost? Because in the meantime, until things can become clearer into that vision and line of sight on why you're feeling lost, whether this is lost in your purpose, whether you left a job and now you don't know what's next, whether you left a relationship and now you don't know what's next to come for you. Maybe you're at a certain age or stage in your life and you don't know what's to happen next or you don't know where to go or you don't know why you're here or you don't know if things will get better in your situation, if your finances will improve. You just feel like you're in a rut and everything you try to do again, your efforts are futile. And for some of you, and, it, and it, I don't even know what I'm saying for some because this feels like a very specific message. Um, but for whoever I am speaking to, with filling those things, Nine of Cups in the reverse, with filling those things, Leo, you got to understand that because I can't change with your circumstance and you can only do so much, we have to, again, reevaluate certain habits or certain things that we're doing on our daily basis in our daily lives that is further contributing to us to feeling lost. If we can at least at least make space or some headway in regards to clearing out even if it's a small fraction of that energy of feeling lost by applying new habits whether it's putting in place like you know a new routine or new daily steps or just even making your bed every morning right starting to create some form of structure or some form of parameter within your life where it's like you start to see okay whatever even if it's drinking a wa glass of water per day but you're seeing that, okay, I am implementing something and whatever it is that I'm implementing, it is, if you will, how can I put this in an appropriate way because I don't want to mis misstep and misspeak. Um, but even with you doing that, Leo, what that, then, what, what that can then create is a rippling effect because at least in some area, you do have control, right? And when we feel lost, it's because we don't have control of what's going on or our circumstances. Even when we try to put in effort, nothing happens. We feel lost when we have a lack of control. And as a Leo, not to say you guys are controlling, but you guys do like to have some form of control of what's going on or what's occurring in your life or what is to come up. So when you're in a space of the void of you don't know what the hell, what's about to happen left, right, and there and there, you do tend to even further contribute to that feeling of feeling lost. So there's whatever habits that are not conducive or whatever you need to sacrifice in regards to bad habits that is adding to feeling lost, you need to reevaluate that. What are you willing to sacrifice to gain at least, even if it's only a little bit of clarity, a little bit of vision, a little bit of foresight, a little bit of fort movement. There is something here within your life, Leo, that at least you can apply yourself to. Again, whether it's making a bed every morning, drinking a glass of water, maybe reading a book per day. And I know I'm giving very simple, very simplistic uh, suggestions, so you don't have to take those. But you start to regain control. And by regaining control of your life, even if it's in a small area, 
you start to feel more clear about your purpose or vision or why you feel lost. Just because why you're gaining a sense of control, knowing that, you know what, my life, whatever may be happening outside of my circumstances, no, I can't control it, but at least I know I can control these things. And it starts to give you more of that motivation, more of that perseverance, more of that belief that things will get better, that things will change, because why you now have an area that you are controlling. And then you can apply this to multiple areas, right? You start off with a glass of water making your bed. Then you can apply that to maybe going to the gym or maybe going for a walk or maybe joining a new group or something of that nature where you start to build up more of control in certain areas of your life. And what does that do? That feeling of loss starts to alleviate a little bit more and more and you're able to feel more comfortable in saying, you know what, other people may be receiving their blessings. Other people's circumstances may be changing before mine. I may be waiting in my season for much longer, much <laughs> much longer than I would like to, but at least you are in a more adjusted or a better adjusted state of mind of like, okay, I, I can at least, I can't control my finances. I can't control my relationships. I can't control getting married or having kids by a certain time. I can't control if my business is going to take off the ground. I can't do, you know, I put in the efforts and nothing's happening, but the fact that I am seeing movement and progression over here, I know that eventually there's going to be a movement and progression over there. And we got the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Fool and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Again, same, I'm not going to cuss, same energy of what I'm feeling. What are you willing to let go, clear of your space, sacrifice, take a leap of faith towards, again, even if it's in small steps or small increments, to try and regain, try and regain your lack of of comfortability, sensibility, stability, security, your feeling of loss. Because with this Knight of Cups in the in the reverse, this is like having these ideas or thoughts or 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 um, curiosities or desires or wants, but they're all in the air, right? They're just I'm just seeing like a tidal wave. They're just everywhere. We have to put a container on this. Because when we start to feel all over the place and feel lost and I'm putting an effort and nothing's happening or I don't know what's going to happen or what's going to come of this, we tend to stay in that space. And a lot of times when we're in that space, we tend to look for, again, the universe to give us a sign or to give us clarity or to give us an understanding. Or we tend to look at external people to maybe the universe will send us a person that can bring us clarity or the universe will send us a person that can bring us insight or maybe the universe will send us somebody or a message or some form of synchronicity that will then alleviate this feeling of loss. And in the meantime, all I can do is just stay in the state of being lost. And what I, what I feel very compelled to tell you, Leo, that's counterproductive. And what I am here to tell you is all you're going to do is still stay in the stasis of feeling lost. You have to regain control, even if it's in a small area. You have to regain control. So I, I want to pull. Tell me more, Spirit, in regards to this for my Leos. Yes. And it's up to you. It's up to you. So what do you do about it, Leo? I know the feeling. I get it. I personally get it, you know, and that's why I was very moved, but... I don't even have to, I had another deck here. I literally have another deck to my left that I was going to pull from, which I'll show you. Don't even need to, because everything I just told you just got backed up with this single card. Yes. So Leo, whoever you are, wherever you are, if you are in this state of feeling lost, it's up to you, like the bottom of the deck says, to change the circumstance. You may not be able to change it in full, but there are daily actions or little baby steps that you can take to start clearing up the energy and start regaining your vision. Start regaining control of your life. I love you. You be safe. Be well. Take care. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.